Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Hansford. I understand you have some sort of foreign object trapped inside you. Ah, right. Well, let's uh, take a look. Ooh. Right. Well, uh, yes, indeed. Yes. Um, you definitely have something trapped inside you, yes. I see uh, redness and swelling, too. Well, Ever seen this before? Uh, exactly like this, no. No. Um, uh, similar, but always in other places. Um, uh, but, but I've seen far worse, though. Uh, Prosecutor Felix, I was wondering if I could have a word with you about operating on my wife and I's anal fistula. Oh, well, as I've already told you, excellent news. Neither of you actually have anal fistulas. Yeah. Oh. Well, would uh, 1,000 francs change your diagnosis, perhaps? Uh, for fuck's sake. Fantastic. Is that a deal breaker? N no, it's just that honesty is very important to me. Right. What time are you expecting the babysitter? Well, I thought maybe you could look after her. Oh, you, you, you want to hang out here? I thought maybe you could look after her, and then I'll go out. We met on a dating website. You asked me out on a date, and now you're telling me that you want me to babysit while you go out on a date? Are you crazy? I'm going to the sports bar with my buddies. I know what you're thinking. She's cute, isn't she? Wanna hold her? I instinctively seem to want to protect my lovers. <laughs> to provide somewhere safe for them. But I'm no pussycat. Oh no. <laughs> I can be uh, quite an animal. Let me tell you. <laughs> so that's why I think a bear is the right metaphor for me, for my sexuality. Yes. <laughs> Something of the whole reason that, the whole reason that people go to the movies nowadays. Uh, I mean, where else can you see an actor set on fire or, or thrown down some stairs? Or both. And with digital stuntmen here like Des, well, the sky's the limit. It's got nothing to do with the plot. It's totally out of character. No one would just jump off a balcony. So the, uh, the therapy's not working? Where's the motivation? Des. Just do the stunts. 